Today we have video number seven in our 10 part series covering Samsung Goodlock in 2024 in its entirety. Samsung Goodlock is a free customization suite designed to help you to get the most out of your Samsung Galaxy device. And you can find it for free in most regions in the Samsung Galaxy Store. If you don't happen to see Goodlock in the Samsung Galaxy Store, I'll link a video down in the description that'll help you get it installed via another method. Now let's go ahead and get started with today's tutorial. And today we're gonna to be covering Lockstar on the Makeup tab, as well as Nice Shot on the Life Up tab. Let's go ahead and get started with Lockstar. All right, with Lockstar open, you'll see here that we have two different versions of basically our lock screen, as well as the ability to adjust our lock screen timeout. So what you're seeing here are two different representations. What we have here on the left is our actual lock screen, and here on the right hand side is our always on display screen. I have no idea why Samsung doesn't label these better. They really should do a better job at this, but that's what you're looking at. So you're looking at the lock screen customization on the left and our always on display customization on the right. So before we get started with editing our lock screen and our always on display, let's go ahead and take a look at our three dot menu. We have the ability to set our wallpaper so we can pick from a series of wallpapers here for our lock screen as well as credits for the developers that made Lockstar. Here they are. We cover this every time for thoroughness. All right, let's go ahead and get started by modifying our lock screen. The first thing we're gonna do is turn the toggle on. Then we're gonna tap on here to go into our lock screen settings. So the first thing we could adjust is our clock. So if you tap on that, you have the ability to remove your clock. And if you tap on this lower left icon, this is the edit icon. This allows you to adjust your clock face. So if I want to switch over to analog, I can just tap on this one right next to it. In addition to that, we also have this scaling ability that allows us to shrink and uh, enlarge the clock itself. So you have quite a few different styles here to pick from. It goes on quite a different way. So you have full customization of your clock itself. Below that, we have the placement of our different widgets. So here's our music widget here. I can move that down a little bit. Here's our recent notifications, right, from our apps. So we can move that around. We can also adjust what we're gonna see as far as our colors, transparency, and how we want our app notifications to look like. So I'll go ahead and switch this to orange, adjust the scale a little bit. And if we go ahead and get out of here, you're gonna see it take effect. So it made the icons a little bit smaller and it also adjusted the color. We can choose whether or not we wanna get rid of our music widget. Next, we can even adjust the message that's shown here. By editing it here, we can change the color, transparency, etc. You can also remove it. Um, we also have the ability to adjust our shortcuts. So if we tap in here to open up these settings, and you'll see here it listed out by type. We have a blank row here, and then another one with a checkbox highlighted for phone and our camera app. So this is our default shortcut bar. So if we wanna go ahead and add to this, we'll go ahead and hit the plus sign here, and we'll pick a shortcut to an app that we wanna pick. I'll go ahead and pick gallery, and let's go ahead and add contacts, and I'll go ahead and add messages. I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply, and what that's gonna do is create a new shortcut row that we can enable. So by default, if we hit save right now, you're not gonna see any difference at all. You're just gonna see this row show up just like we normally do when we have our lock screen. Here, let me show that to you real quick. We'll go ahead and enable our lock screen. There it is. You'll see the phone and the camera app right there. But what we can do is turn this one on, now we're gonna choose this one over the default, and we can also pick our alignment, which is pretty cool. So if I can go ahead and switch this to that, or switch it to looking like that, let's go ahead and pick this one. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save real quick. And now here's our lock screen. If we hit this right here, there's our shortcuts that pop up. So a great way to customize your shortcut bar down at the bottom. And if we go back here in the lock screen editor, we can also tap on an empty part of the screen and that's gonna give us the ability to add a sticker and we can also add additional widgets to our lock screen. I'm gonna add the battery real quick. All right, cool, we'll add this one right here. Add it, save. All right, now we have our battery widget right here and we can manipulate this however we want. We can move it down here. We can tighten these up a little bit. Remember, we have complete control over all of this. We can move all of this stuff around our music widget and I'll put the battery one right about here. All right, let me go ahead and save this real quick. Cool. Now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get out of this. And we'll show our lock screen. There it is. All right, cool. We've got our new orange color right here. I've got my battery widget down at the bottom. Pretty sweet. And another feature that we have too is we can adjust our lock screen timeout once we have this enabled. So we can go ahead and switch it from the default, which is gonna be, I believe, five seconds uh, to a longer length of time. So if you wanna leave your lock screen up for like a full minute, you can do that. 
which is pretty nice. So if we go ahead and save that real quick, normally when you throw open your lock screen like that, it's gonna go back to your AOD after just a few seconds. But as you see here, my lock screen is staying on for an extended period of time. Now let's head over to the AOD customization for our always on display. Let's go ahead and turn this on and we'll hop inside here real quick. We have a few less features because AOD is supposed to be very minimal. Remember, we're not trying to tax our battery or anything. That's why AOD doesn't have near as much functionality as our full lock screen. But nonetheless, we can still adjust our clock just like we did before, except instead of just adjusting the uh, clock faces here, we also have the ability to show this battery widget. So if you wanna go ahead and turn that on, that'll show your battery percentage down at the bottom and you can toggle that back off. So that's pretty sweet. And again, just like the lock screen, we can adjust our app notifications here, right? We can adjust the color and all that good stuff right down here. And we can also fine tune the display that shows how much of battery percentage we have left. Go ahead and again, tap on the lower left corner. And you have two different options here to pick from. I like this one because it shows at 84%. I think that looks nice. Lastly, with our always on display adjustments, you can tap anywhere on the screen and that's gonna give you the ability to add widgets. So you can add additional widgets here. So say for example, I wanna pick device care. All right, cool, I wanna see my storage and memory. Let's go ahead and add it real quick. All right, we'll hit save. Not looking to a fine tune or anything like that. Now let's go ahead and hit save here real quick. All right, I'm gonna minimize this. And here's our always on display. Gives me my storage, memory, battery, all that good stuff. And if you're not happy with how your AOD or lock screen looks, you always have the ability to reset both of them. All right, so some pretty cool stuff to get the most out of your always on display and lock screen with Lockstar. Let's go ahead and move on to Nice Shot. Before we move on with Nice Shot, if I could just take 30 seconds of your time, I'd really appreciate it. Just wanna let you all know that I recently lost someone very special to me, and that's my stepdad, Jeff. Uh, he just recently passed away unexpectedly. Uh, it's definitely taken me off guard. I have not been myself the past couple of weeks. Jeff, I miss you, man. I love you so much. And uh, it really sucks not having you here with us. Very unexpected. Uh, he's been a big part of my life. Uh, again, just wanted to put this out there just to show how much of a huge impact he's had on my life. It definitely sucks not having him here. So uh, if I'm out of sorts the next couple of weeks, you know why? He's uh, weighing heavily on my mind and my heart right now, and uh, I'm gonna miss you, buddy. All right, let's go ahead and get going with this tutorial. All right, so let's get into Nice Shot. All right, so with Nice Shot open, we have a few options here, and what these options pertain to is our ability to take screenshots and use a screen recorder and further customize those abilities just a little bit more. So our first option, disable crop snapping. So by default, this is turned off, so while well, I'll show you what that is real quick, we're gonna go ahead and take a screenshot by pressing our power key and our volume down button at the same time. Cool, so now we're gonna go into the edit section and you're gonna see that we have these snap to grid type markers here, right? So by default, this is going to snap to that section and highlight that whole area. So we can also further expand that by going to the next section. It's kind of hard for me to do on camera, but you get the idea and you see how it just snapped to that bottom section and put it all in view. Now with this turned on, and us going back and taking another screenshot, and going back to our edit menu right there, uh, this no longer has a snap ability, so this is just gonna go wherever you put it. So if I drop it there, it's gonna drop it right there instead of snapping to the text that was right underneath it. I personally leave this off, which is a default setting, uh, just because I think it gives you a nice way to easily get to the parts that you're wanting to snap to. This next option, add delete button. So if we turn this off, and we go to take a screenshot real quick, let me do that. You're gonna see here that we don't have a delete button in our toolbar that pops up automatically. I'll show you how to enable and disable that toolbar in just a moment. So if we go ahead and add delete button, and we go ahead and take a screenshot again, boom, you see now that we have a delete button. Now if you don't see this toolbar automatically pop up when you take a screenshot, and instead you only see the screenshot saved option here in your notification panel, we can just go into our settings real quick. We're gonna go down to advanced features, and then we have screenshots and screen recordings. And once you come into here, your first option is gonna be show toolbar after capturing. Go ahead and toggle that on, and then you'll start to have that toolbar show up at the bottom like you're seeing in this tutorial. All right, now on to the screen recorder options. So this pertains to this. When we swipe down, we have the ability to enable a screen recording by toggling this on right here. 
we can pick whether or not we want to include the media, the media and mic, and then we go ahead and start recording. So that's what we're talking about. So back to our options in GoodLock. We have do not disturb during screen recording, very self-explanatory. So with this enabled, it's going to put your phone in do not disturb mode while you're doing your screen recording. And then once you're done, it's going to disable the do not disturb mode. I don't think we really need to demo that. It's pretty obvious of what it does. But above it, we have an interesting option, selfie video options. So when we go into here, what this is referring to is the following. We go ahead and we start a screen recording. All right, let's go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and start recording. Let's go ahead and skip the timer, the countdown timer. So what this is referring to is a people icon right up here. You can go ahead and tap on that. And that's now going to start the camera up and do a selfie while it's doing the screen recording. So let me go ahead and stop this real quick so I can explain it. So what we have here is the ability to make the background color transparent and we can auto detect the background color as well as set up the color detection sensitivity. So let's say the wall behind me is the same color as my table. I can have it either auto detect the background color and try to make it transparent or if I tap on this text, I can manually adjust that color to match this as close as possible. So you have both options for setting the transparency. Unfortunately though, and this is what's really unfortunate, these settings all suck. They are absolutely terrible. And what I mean by that is you can adjust these settings all you want. It doesn't really matter. But when you go in here to take a screen recording, let's go ahead and start this up again real quick. All right, let's start it up, skip the timer, and we'll show the uh, camera real quick. It doesn't matter what the background is or what I'm looking at it is really going to screw up your image and it's going to make your face and all that look weird. Look at my face right there. It's kind of like cutting it out. It doesn't matter if you have like a simple single color wall, if you just have some bushes that are all green behind you. This transparency filter stuff here works absolutely terrible. Like I have zero luck with it at all and I've tried it in many situations. But ideally what it's supposed to do is just show your face and block everything else out of the picture. And then lastly for the selfie video options is we have the ability to double the selfie video size. Uh, this is just going to give you a little bit higher resolution. It's going to allow you to zoom in a little bit more without it looking pixelated. All right, I think that wraps up everything with Nice Shot. And that concludes today's tutorial covering Lockstar and Nice Shot. If you have any questions or comments about today's tutorial, please drop them down in the comments section below. I really do appreciate your time. And as always, thanks for watching.